go live. Confirm and go live. Hi, hi, hi. Okay. What, what? There's no hang on. We're doing this. Welcome to the Wednesday night live stream. We're trying to get back on schedule. Um, our goal was to have a markup for auction and also the Homoko. The Homoko is not ready for print just yet. I'm still working on the background. So we're going to bump the Homoko to, uh, to Sunday's live stream. And uh, hopefully uh, you'll get to watch us ink that up. Uh, we have the setup to do it. Um, hopefully that'll go smooth. It'll be our first live stream where uh, you get to watch me do my traditional process. So hopefully that'll be pretty exciting. And when we're done inking it, you'll be able to bid to your little heart's content uh, if you if you want to grab that Homoko. So, and chances are we'll also um, publicize that with the social media so be be ready uh if that piece speaks to you uh be ready to uh to bid because uh we haven't we haven't done a, a definite time on it but traditionally we've just done 24 hours on the auctions that's worked pretty well um but we'll see we'll see uh maybe we'll do two days just because it's a bigger it's a bigger item but uh Anyway, so if you if you tuned in tonight, hoping uh, to watch the Hamoko go live on our social media Sunday for that, but we do have. Do you want to want to toss me the and and we'll we'll uh, we do have a picture of this, but we do have the Harley the Harley markup ready to rock and roll so this one will be going up on our socials at the end of the live stream um and then we will be making more i just got my comps in from uh, uh ryan kincaid for my persuasion covers so we're gonna be doing markups on uh, for uh, persuasion we're gonna be doing markups on hellbringers hellbringers is also going to be launching their next dawn of the devil uh campaign so we have plenty of uh, Hellbringers, um, uh, oh my gosh, uh, Hellbringers, the Sacred Heart covers. So, uh, if you if you're interested in grabbing the second appearance of Lilith, Lilith, uh, first first appearance in her, her in her new costume, um, that will be going up, and I'll see if I can't get the signatures on those from Ryan and I both. If you want them, if you don't, if you just want the art, uh, you can let us know if you if you win those auctions. Anyway. Lots of lots of cool stuff hitting that way. Um, we're we're streaming Temerity uh, again tonight. Just uh, this is the second to the last page that, that you're seeing here. Uh, that's what we're working on right now. Um, we we are we are da dangerously close to having that ready to go out the door. Um, and so, thank you for everyone who backed those campaigns. If you have not backed, let's see D Jackson already here chatting us up. Um, yeah, uh, hopefully that'll be, we're, we'll be shipping that out to print here pretty quick. Uh, with any luck by the end of the week, I hate sending messages about deadlines out into the universe because I feel like the universe conspires against me. <laughs> and, uh, and then I don't, I don't hit my deadline. So let's see, I just filled out my backer survey. Okay, so awesome. So, um, D Jackson, let me ask you this. Were you able to, to do your add-ons? Uh, that was a concern with our Kickstarter campaign. I'm going to turn this light on. Yay! Ooh, it's so much prettier with the lights on. Um, <laughs> Eric is like, Eric is like, ah, we'll we'll debate that. But um, <laughs> um, so let let me know, let me know how how your 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 survey process went. Um, there was a lot of bugs with the add-ons for the Kickstarter. Um, hopefully those have been smoothed out. Uh, when it comes to the survey, if you had add-ons that you weren't able to do uh, while the campaign was live. Hopefully those have been resolved with the survey. And then also, let's see, Viciously Innocent. I have not gotten my survey yet. Okay, so you might want to go check the Kickstarter. Or uh, Vicious, uh, did, you do, did you do Kickstarter or did you do Indiegogo? 
let me know in the comments and and hopefully we can we can do a little troubleshooting from this and man that is really bright and in my face let's Now, oh look, I'm even, it's even a Chad. No, I'm sorry, I'm having, I'm sorry. That's <laughs> fun with lighting, kids, in the next, uh, in the next uh, live stream. Anyway, so there's all of that going on. Uh, lots of new stuff, lots of exciting stuff. Um, okay, so since our last conversation, uh, we, we promised no spoilers on WandaVision. I don't know how we did. Um, okay, so vicious go go. Um, let me let me talk with Gemma. Um, I think go go though. It, it should still be open by default, but let me check. We've never done any go go before, so it's hard for me to speak to stuff that that I'm not a hundred percent sure about. Gemma also has COVID. I don't know if she wants me announcing that to the world, but she might be down for a couple of weeks. So if it's not up and you can't access it right now. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah. I think I think it's a, if 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 you if you pledged on indie, you got to stick with indie. Don't don't go to don't go to Kickstarter. Stay stay within your platform that you pledged to. But but vicious, I will I will uh, I will find out for you. Okay. So uh, maybe when the stream is over, um, I'll I'll put I'll make sure to put it in the chat. Whatever I find out. Uh, but. I'll definitely need to check with Gemma before making any promises there. Um, so we sort of spoiled one sort division, of? sort of. <laughs> oh dear. Maybe, maybe. I like to call it wild speculation, but some people are like, raw. So, my apologies. Um, uh, I guess we should just say, as a default, spoiler alerts with with any of the things we talk about. But um, what what were some of the things that, that we didn't get to? <laughs> We never finished our Walking Dead versus Attack on Titan. Well, so we might want to go over that. Uh, <laughs> I I just think Attack on Titan is way more terrifying, but um. I just think it's funny how you can like watch the freakiest live action films, but have nightmares about an animation. I get like the concept is scarier. Right, but but to me, like having it as an a animation makes it less terrifying for me. So. I understand that, but for me, Attack on Titan is is way less cliche. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Walking Dead, and like I said, the comic itself did not fall into those uh, tropes, the 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 horror the horror movie the horror television show tropes. Whereas the Walking Dead TV show, it's like, oh, yep, here's the typical reaction. You know, oh, let's do the thing that we're not supposed to do. You know what I mean? And that never happened in the comic. And that's why the comic was awesome. And then in the television show, you're just like going, eh. So to me, it's a matter of like predictability. Uh-huh. And Titan, Attack on Titan was very unpredictable. Well, you should keep watching. It gets I, worse. Okay. All right. I'm going to keep watching. Let's see. Um, let's see what Vicious says. Poor Gemma and her family are down kind of hard. Absolutely. But Gemma is still well enough to draw. Um, right, she is, but you got to understand that Gemma also has small children at home, and when the second they got diagnosed with COVID, now their family is basically, you know, they, they can't go anywhere, so the kids can't go to school, which means uh, Gemma has a lot less free time than she normally does. Film Theory did a YouTube video on WandaVision, okay. Um, new My Hero Season is coming, that's always good. I am so excited for that. Uh, more glorious Captain Eth. Absolutely. And you know what, guys? This page turned out... Um, I hate to... I shouldn't brag, but this page turned out pretty dope. I thought it was pretty good. Um, so here's some exciting things that you can see in this page that you've never seen before. Um, you, get to, you get your first look at Enlightenment ships. Um, so if you're wondering, if, if you're like a, a science fiction nerd like me, and ship design is really important... Um, you're going to get your first look at uh, the Enlightenment uh, Destroyer class um, warships. Um, you'll get to see that in this page. It's at the very end. Um, so uh, if you don't see it here, we'll make sure to uh, put, it in, uh, put it in the still image at the end. Um, yeah, we have a lot of, a, of fun anime stuff uh, happening. Um, I, I am 
from what I understand, I've been told that Hamoko shows up in season two. I, I believe I'm on episode four of season two. So uh, hopefully uh, I get to see Hamoko firsthand. And that's sort of been the holdup for me on the commission. Um, it, it's a little disjointing for me. 99% of the time when, when people ask for a commission, um, I know what I'm drawing. And with My Hero Academia, I, I knew nothing about any of the characters. Um, I have students that are huge fans, and, and they're like, you need to watch this. And I'm like, okay. And then I don't. But um, So I am watching it. I'm trying to get caught up. But still, at this point, no Homoko yet. And I feel like if I get a couple of episodes under my belt where I can understand the character, it's going to help me sort of finish that the, the, those pencils up, and then we're ready to start drawing. So. We better hurry the heck up on watching I, I, I'm sorry. I mean, okay, it's what, 8 o'clock at night, and I just got done teaching class no, like I know 12 how busy minutes ago. You are. So, yeah. And here's my problem with, with shows that I actually have to watch. I can't draw. Normally, I... Mori Sabi. Mori... Now, is this my friend Mori in, in St. George? Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I hear it's good. Can't seem to find time to watch all the other things I want to. I know. And uh, <laughs> Maury says maybe. And that's a yes. <laughs> Hi, Maury. How you doing, buddy? Um, thanks for thanks for tuning in. Maury, feel free to give us suggestions on uh, on anime that you like. We'll, we'll try and put it in the, in the watch list. And uh, I know this much. Uh, my Homoko my Homoko blew up my TikTok. So uh, maybe not as popular with with uh, the fanboy demographic, which I put myself in, but definitely popular with the up-and-coming uh, millennials and younger demographic. So you really just need to start listening to all of my suggestions. I, I know. My, it, just so you guys know, this episode is brought to you by Erica, <laughs> who's always right. And uh, But nobody listens. Let's see. Violent Evergarden. Have you ever heard of this, Erica? Violent, Violent Evergarden? Yes. That is a Netflix original. You will cry your eyes. Okay, so Mori Sabi says, uh, "Be prepared to be emotionally destroyed." Yes. Now, here's here's my thing though. I watch things to be happy. See, I do too, which is one of the reasons like Chad and I have debates on what our favorite animes are. Mm. Um, but it's a good one. It's a good one. Okay. All right. Let's You'll see. You'll feel emotionally destroyed, but uh, optimistic at the end. Uh, optimistic at the end. So it's gonna be like. <laughs> it's not going to be like Neon Genesis, all right? No. Okay, so Erica is actually Cassandra of Troy Reborn. Do you get that reference? No. Erica is... Okay, D. Jackson, I, I don't get that re reference, and neither does Erica, Cassandra so we need to... Let's see. Also, Blood of Zeus, a good check. You're bringing the door series. Oh! I wanted to watch that. I saw that too. I and wanted I've to seen watch quite that. A few things on it, but I'm trying to get through the anime that Chad's wanting me to watch. What what is Chad? Did you know watch? that One Punch the I can't I don't know if it's the directors or the author, but anyways, of One Punch Man like have a whole other series that I haven't found out. What what's it called? I don't know. <laughs> it's Psycho something. Okay. But. So, Chad's wanting me to watch that one. D. First. Jackson, a tentative yes on that. We, we, we need to confirm the source material on our own, though. So before before we can commit to that label. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, oh, Cassandra of Troy was a priestess cursed to speak the truth of the future. Ah, oh, so not okay, an so anime. That was a mythology. <laughs> was I wanted to okay. say right. so, but I was also like, okay, <laughs> I am not as well versed in this area. Uh, <laughs> okay, all right, all right. So we just need to brush up on our on our uh, mythology. mythology, yeah. Uh, stay far away from redo of healer. Really? Uh, yeah, that's what Maury says. Okay. That's what Maury says. Yeah. Okay. So yes, yes. We we can confirm that that Erica is uh, Cassandra Troy. Demon Slayer is good, darling. In the Franks. Um. Let's see. Ali Cart. So. Sanivus, um, and we really, Allison, Allison, we need your help. We need you to come over one, uh, maybe, maybe on Sunday, and and show us how to update some of this stuff. So we're not plugging Kickstarters that ended six months ago. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Uh, there we go. Who who rated? 
big fan of your work. Sarah, thank you so much. I hope you're having a good night. We are having a good night. We, we, we're, we're done teaching school, which is always fun. And we haven't had dinner yet. We're streaming first and eating later. So, um, Living life on edge right there. Oh, so wait. So, okay. Let's see. Sanivis, welcome. Your raid is delightful. Why, why are we not getting a notification on the raid? Shouldn't we be getting a notification on the raid? Maybe. I don't know. Okay. This is all still temperamental. Yeah, we're, we, we need help. We need Allison here to, <laughs> to help us. Let's see. I need to fix that. Yes, you do, Allison. Uh, it was small. M might be under the... You know what? We appreciate everything anybody does for us, Santa. Us, so, um, you, please feel free to raid us at, at any, any time. With any amount. Even if it's just... Even if it's just... Uh, Pennies. Yeah. Anyhow. Uh, let's see. I think you need to set up a raid alert. Okay. And I, I bet you what happened is we had it set up on... So we have two streaming computers. We have this one, um, which is... Uh, and the reason why we're streaming on this one is because we hope to be doing the, the, uh, the live drawing, the actual drawing, the traditional drawing, as opposed to just in there where I'm only equipped to do... I'm only equipped to do the digital stuff in the other room. There so. also just aren't, there isn't as much space for me to lurk in the shadows. Okay. So well, I think we need, I think we need a <laughs> VR icon or maybe even just like a sock puppet for Erica where I just, I just. That would it. be so creepy. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Okay. Oh, so Allison confirmed. I need to set up the raid alert. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. All right. There we go. Gemma will tell you I'm quite goofy. You know, that's okay. This is a good place to be goofy. So It's not like we're exactly serious. No. No. Well, there's just way too much serious. Why would you why would you come to this to watch us draw and, and then still be serious? That's that's just horrible. So um, okay. So let's talk about let's talk about let's talk about webtoons though. Webtoons? Which yeah. ones? Well, so so I made the mistake of telling Tacy <laughs> about my love for um, yeah yeah mom I'm sorry and uh, let's see we can use logos that are personalized to you for your railers sweet old school anime if you can find it armor hunter mellow link okay are you writing this down stuff down Erica uh, armor hunter mellow link do I all right. So you're making me work. Yes. What am I paying you for? Here. My sarcastic <laughs> commentary. <laughs> Do your job. Um, okay. So, so we have Armor Hunter Mellow Link. We have Doro Hedoro. D O R O H E D R O O D O R O. I think only anime I've seen recently is Castlevania. If that counts. Carmen San Diego. I'm gonna say no. Carmen San Diego is not an anime because it originated in the United States. It's an Amerine. Yeah, it's kind of the same <laughs> with Avatar. It's not technically an anime, even though everyone loves Let's it. Let's see your love for what? So here, oh, we got Ryan Brown. Welcome, Ryan Brown. How you doing, buddy? Um, Castlevania is awesome. Agreed. Castlevania is amazing. Balls. I did enjoy season one of Castlevania. I have not watched season two, and it's only four episodes, right? So, Ryan, is Ryan still streaming? That's a great question. Ryan, tell us if you're streaming or not. Ryan and I are working on a top secret project that we can't talk about yet, but we will soon. As soon as we get the thumbs up, we yeah, will start not talking. Ominous at all. No, it's going to be fun. Mm -hmm. It's going to be fun. But um, I'm hoping everybody on here likes Red Dead Redemption. If you, everyone on here likes Red Dead Redemption, Red Dead Redemption 2, then. Um, hopefully you'll 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 like this announcement when we can make it. Let's see, season three. Oh my gosh, there's a season three of Castlevania, so I'm two seasons behind. Was well, solid, but clearly start. more set up than resolution. Okay, I'm doing well. What are we talking about? Well, we were going to talk about webtoons, but we got wrangled back into talking about anime. Uh, Bacano is also a must watch. Have you ever heard of that, Bacano? I think so, but I can't read what they're saying, so I don't know if that's how you pronounced it, or... B-A-C-C-A-N-O. Yes, I have. You I have? have it. Yeah. 
Well, okay. What was it about? Um. So if it's the one that I'm thinking about, uh, I want to say it it had something to do with demon slayers. Okay. Maury, can you confirm? Is is Bacano about the demon slayers? Let's see what Maury says. So Allison says, also, Chad, let me know what time and if it's okay still with COVID and everything. So just so you guys know, I tested negative for COVID. Uh, I did have myself tested because Jacob and Gemma tested positive, And I went over to their house earlier in the week to uh, do a press check for um, Temerity. Um, but I, I think we're COVID free. I think it's kind of a miracle that we've lasted this long being COVID. Well, see, my luck, I will die of COVID. Like the day before, like my second You're like, booster knock shot. On wood right here. <laughs> Eric is like, "That's great for me. I get to collect the insurance and sell your artwork after you're dead." Um, <laughs> let's see. Oh my gosh! Could you imagine me selling all of your traveler pages? Yeah, I know. Holy crap! Yeah, those are mine. Yeah, Stan, <laughs> Stan Lee and me both dead. Just. I'll have to wait for. What you you have years? to go kill. You know, you have to go kill Mark Wade. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Mark. We're just kidding. Uh, anyway, um, let's see. Neon Funerals, Tower of God. Now, isn't Tower of God a webtoon? Dad, you got to remember, Crunchyroll bought webtoons okay. for a while. They started generating a bunch of old, uh, not old, but a bunch of Featured webtoons, webtoons yeah. into, okay. Yeah, like I know the, I think it's called The God of High School. That's a really popular one on Crunchyroll right now. That's uh, That was a webtoon. I'm, I haven't seen it yet. Though. I'm tripping Alice. So Allison's like, wait, who's drawing right now? Allison, I'm drawing with my mind. <laughs> so Allison, what we did is basically I started recording myself drawing all week long. And then I give the, the video files to Erica. And we have Erica playing um, the videos of me drawing all week. Because um, she's gone in and she's basically gone into Adobe Premiere and edited it out. Um, anything that's slightly embarrassing. I'm like, what, what did you edit out? Nothing. Just Nothing? Okay. scenes where you were taking too long. Scenes or, where I was Where you had forgotten to stop okay. recording, gotten up, <laughs> so, walked yeah. away for an hour, come back. Yeah, so Eric has basically edited out the scenes where I forgot to hit stop on the recording. Um, so we're not just watching a still screen. But, uh, but it, it's basically the same thing, but it frees me up to be more interactive. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I mean, it, it's basically the same thing, but I I'm a little bit I'm I'm a little bit more hands free, um, and and that way uh, I can interact more. Um, so anyway, that that's what we're trying to do. So award self internet points. There we go. I, that's what I'm hoping. So let's see, neon funerals. Yep, that's it. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. So so yes. So I've read. I have not seen the anime. Then I've I've read the webtoons. A group of immortals in 1930s New York involving gangsters, train heist, lots of blood, delightfully demented villain, and two idiots that don't figure out they've been turned into immortals until the 1970s. That's funny. <laughs> that, that should have been like, a little bit of a why hint. Why do you still look like yeah. you're 17? Hmm. You're 98. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely me drawing. And um, let's see... Draw, draw kinesis. There's my mutant power. I'm just thinking about it. Wouldn't that be a great power to have, though? I mean, I honestly. That. Just in your subconscious, be able to detach your subconscious mind, and your subconscious mind can draw your pages. Um, so, exactly what... Let's see. Okay, exactly what... Okay, all right. Cool, cool, cool. So, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the secret, but I think it makes for more interesting streams. Um, we tested it out on what Sunday. We, we, we did. did like a thirty-minute. Yep. And we liked it. We did. We did. So. I liked that he, you know, my dad knows most of who watches this and can pronounce the usernames much better than I can. <laughs> I don't know if people on the stream like it when I actually use their real names. But that's their IRL. That's fine IRL with me, but like names. when I try and pronounce a username, oh my gosh. <laughs> My dyslexia is like, let's make you suffer. <laughs> you, sh you should have heard me in class today. I literally said a sentence backwards. Oh my gosh. It, so I'm like going, anyway. I mm. hate that. I yeah. hate that. 
I don't know why I teach. I should not teach. Just just watch me draw. Glean what you can. Right? Anyway. Um, Dr. Strange. <laughs> there we go. There we go, yeah. Okay. So, Webtoons. Um, well, you're talking about you're talking about uh, Crunchyroll buying out Webtoons for the content. So, from what I understand, though, Webtoons has been purchased by AT&T. I have no idea. So, let's let's talk a little bit about Webtoons, and then let's also talk about DC Comics, because there is a rumor going around right now on Bleeding Cool that DC Comics is being bought out by a mega fan. And here are the rumors. Like the rumor that I heard today, um, the rumor that I heard today is that is that uh, Robert Kirkman, Walking Dead, uh -huh. is buying DC Comics. To be honest, I would... Well, I should say that on live. Why? Well, I was about to say... Okay, DC Comics has always been known for their comics. You know, yeah. that's why it's DC, right. Detective Comics. Right. Um, and so I hated it when the film industry, which has always sucked, other than it's, you know, animated films... Mm -hmm. Um, when that started doing bad, they started firing everyone in the comic department. Yeah, well, yeah, who, well. You know, and so, it's and, been, and I've not been a big fan of their recent comics, especially Batman's. Really? Yes. Really? Oh my gosh. So who's writing that right now? I have no idea. Because the art is beautiful. I, I have my favorite people, uh, uh, and then I have people that I love to hate. We're not, we're not going to mention names. <laughs> probably know who you are <laughs> yeah. just read my twitter when i get so angry on twitter like ah you should be able to figure it yeah <laughs> allison's like ooh, get popcorn so um yeah so the anyway that's the rumor now here here's here's why i don't think that will happen dc comics just in merchandise just in the superman logo and the batman logo generate a billion dollars a year for warner brothers just, just with those trademarks. Um, so let's see what let's see what Morisabi says here. Let's see. Um, Doctor Strangelove, uh, like Yoda. <laughs> Kip Spockman, uh, no way. Okay, so yes, yes way. Uh, really, these are these are rumors. Okay. This is all hypothetical. Yeah, yeah. Um, it says, won't DC be better off in the hands of a mega fan rather than a major company that only cares about money? I do agree with that. So, here, and here's my concern. I, I don't necessarily think that, I, I think you, you've hit it on the head, Maury. Um, but I, it's not that I don't think that, that the, everybody at DC is, you know, just concerned about making money. My concern, though, is that they've laid off so many people. So many people. They've really sort of gotten rid of a lot of the people who are there who just have the experience. Like the actual experience of being in the trenches. Now, you know, obviously obviously some of that didn't didn't, you know, do too well. I mean it's not like, you know, DC Comics was like, oh, we're, you know, blowing up um, you know, super successful. Um, so I think I think there needs to be a little bit of both. Uh, where there's, you know, there's a little bit of transition. I think all of comics needs to make the transition to a webtoons type format. I, I just, I really do. Um, I think that's how comics are going to survive. Um, but I, I it, it does concern me that 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 some of the people that are basically running, you know, DC, you you look at their experience compared to the people they they let go. And that would be concerning to me. Like either either these people are prodigies and I don't know about it, um, and and that could be possible. I mean, let's face it. I'm just a schmuck who who sits in my basement all day drawing, you know, drawing pictures. Okay, so it's not like I'm tapped in and I'm super informed, but um, I'm worried that there's a lot of people, and and even even out at AT and T and at Warner Brothers, you know, because you you have. You have parent companies of, of parent companies of parent companies making decisions that that completely affects DC Comics, and and maybe they aren't the most qualified people to make those decisions. So um, I think that if you did have a mega fan buy them out that knew what they were doing, someone like a Robert Kirkman, 
I'm hoping for the Todd father. I'm hoping for Todd McFarlane. I think that would be that would be awesome. Um, I think you would see a, a big infusion into DC Comics. I mean, maybe maybe all the Image founders get together. That, that wow, hard. let's start that rumor right there. <laughs> let's start that rumor right there. Image, are you listening? So look, I mean, seriously. So Jim Lee's already there. Yep. Holy crap. Think, let's think about this. Let's think about this. Jim Lee survived, you know, all the mass layoffs. Yes. He's still there. Mm-hmm. He's an image founder. Yep. So you know, like, him and Todd can at least golf without killing each other. <laughs> right? Tyler, you know, or I'm sorry, I want to say, I always want to say Tyler Kirkham because he's basically our neighbor. Robert Kirkman. Mm-hmm. Rob Liefeld. I'm not disagreeing with I think that would sort of be dope. That so would, what what if what if they combined like image and DC? Like how awesome would that be? That would be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. So you heard that rumor here. Um <laughs> Allison's like, haha, Chad's getting serious. So let's catch up on the comments here. Uh <laughs> yeah, T Jackson calmly drinks tea. Yeah, there we go. Um Warner Brothers is trash. You know what? Uh, mm-hmm. I, I like a lot of what Warner Brothers does. And I understand the reasons why they do things. And you just got to remember context is everything too. Like right now, don't get me wrong, right now, Marvel is killing it when it comes to the movies. And, and let's face it, the DC, the, you know, the DCU is struggling. That has everything to, everything to do with the way that making movies from DC property, properties are set up. Marvel has that direct connection. Remember, when Marvel makes a movie... It is Marvel Studios making the movie. It is not when when a DC Comics movie is made, it's not DC Comics making the movie. It's Warner Brothers making the movie. So there's just a disconnect there that you don't have with Marvel Studios, and I think that that affects things. Um, you need to take these streams and put them out as a podcast and or a YouTube channel. Ryan, we're doing this. Like, you wouldn't even need to edit any of this. <laughs> <laughs> That's the plan. Now, Erica, did, did we take... I posted the okay, last one up on YouTube. So everybody that watched the last stream, it's actually up on YouTube now. We're just working on graphics and logos. So we're hoping, we're hoping that this, this, that everything you're saying, Ryan, we're hoping that all that, uh, we're hoping that all that happens. So, um, but boy, wouldn't that be cool though? If yeah. image. No, I would love that. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So let's put that in, our, in the universe. So, yeah, everyone at Image that watches this. <laughs> Which is nobody. <laughs> right, yeah. Cool idea. Uh, we call dibs, though. Let's place bets. Should we Should we make a Deadpool? Who's going to buy DC? Deadpool. Uh-huh. And, and we can have people... No, I guess that'd be gambling. That, they'd probably frown upon that. That's the Vegas kid in me right there. To be honest, Dad, <laughs> I just don't want to like lose money I don't have. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, let, let's place this on image and DC pooling. Let's see. And then it just collapses. Yeah. Let's see. Would those be super chats or super chads? I, hey, super chads. It's always good to have super chads. <laughs> um, as well as your Discord as a command. Okay. So, Allison, yeah, just come on over. Come on over. We'll, we'll, what, what will we do for Allison if she comes over? We'll, we'll definitely you feed food. you. Yeah, we'll, we'll feed you. What else can we do I for Allison? I don't know. Allison? What else do you want? I'll give you some of his old sketches. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> they're beautiful for everyone okay. but you. All right, okay, you can have the sketches. I no longer want else. <laughs> <laughs> That's any piece of art you want. Uh, yeah, I know. Erica's like, let's put this up on me. No, burn it with fire, fire. Live on YouTube for super chats. Uh, awesome. What's your channel on YouTube? Isn't it just Chad Harden? I think it's just Chad Harden. Just Chad Harden, Ryan. Try Chad Harden. <laughs> You'll see a guy making a face. Uh, okay, so Allison, Allison's on it right now, uh, taking a look. Um, but yeah, wouldn't that be awesome though? I can't stop thinking about that. Now I got brain lock. <laughs> like, please, image. That would be so dope. Like, how dope would that be? I think the movies would definitely improve. <sighs> Everything would improve. Everything would. But I. Like I said, I don't see Warner Brothers being like, "Oh yeah, sure, take away," uh, you know, because I 
feel like they should at least put a nerd in charge of the DC films at Warner Brothers. Well, here's here's, I'm, and I'm going to throw this out there. Everybody, everybody who's watching this is is a comic person, okay? So we're much more invested in all of this than the casual viewer. But let me tell you something. When it comes to dollar to dollar bang for the buck, Warner Brothers is doing just fine. You got to remember. You know, everyone's like, oh, yeah, you know, uh, Avengers, highest grossing movie of all time. Joker was actually more profitable than Avengers. Okay, Joker, I feel like the Joker films are the best I, DC films, though. The, the last one? Yes. You like the last one? With, I did. With, okay, so I didn't really like it. I, okay, I have mixed emotions about it, because at the same time that I absolutely loved it, I hated that they give Joker, like, a meaning, because that was the point of Joker being Joker. You know, he had no reason to be evil. He just was chaotic. See, and that's you what, I, what I mean? That's what I, I think they just sort of took... I, I, I think they just cashed in on the Joker name. Yeah, you know what I mean? But, like, as a film, I thought it was phenomenal. Okay. You know, there wasn't cheesy acting. No. Uh, there wasn't um, bad script. Walking Phoenix. See. Right. No, you're right. No, uh, the acting was amazing. The The... The the sort of double narrative, like, you know, it really depends on your interpretation. That was all fascinating. And it, it's very polarizing, though. There's people that love it. There's people that hate it. Mm -hmm. But um, um, whether you loved it or hated it, it, it made more money than Avengers Endgame. So, so anyway, there, there's that. Um, so even though, you know, on paper... Um, and as far as like making fans happy, let's face it, Marvel is doing a way better job of keeping their 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 Marvel cinematic fans happy than 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 DCU is. Um, when it comes to the almighty dollar, uh, Warner Brothers is still holding their own. So let me let's let's check in on the chat here. Let's see. Uh, you don't need to give me anything, but we're going to Allison. We're going to. What is your YouTube YouTube user hardened art? Yes. Okay. So there you go. There you go, Allison. You got it. Let me redo that. Okay. YouTube Harden Art. There you go. Follow Allison. Everybody, follow Allison. Uh, maybe one day we get to see Chad draw a volume of Jared Gifford comic. Okay. So this is definitely. I've confirmed the rumor. Morisavi is definitely my pal Mori, <laughs> who is the Jimmy Olsen of St. George, Utah, folks. Everybody, make sure that you follow uh, Mori on all the social media platforms. He will let you know all the shenanigans going on in the Southern Utah area. And trust me, there are plenty of shenanigans going on in the Southern Utah area. So, um, you know what? Uh, that that might happen sooner than you think, Maury. Uh, Jared and I have been talking about it for a long time. Um, so, that might actually happen sooner than you think. So, um, we even talked about doing some Darum stuff. So, maybe it starts with just a few Darum covers. But, uh, anyway... Never say never. And then Allison also did a plug for the Webtoons Challenge Temerity list. Um, Mark Hamill is still the best Joker. And, and there you go. I mean... I agree with that. So, DC Animation. Yes. 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 DC Animation, still the best. Um, da, 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 da. Actually, Mark Hamill may just be the best. You can't, you can't argue with a Jedi Knight, right? Right. Or Jedi Master. Even if he's a dead. <laughs> Force goes. Jedi Master. Had to happen sometime. Uh, anyway, uh, just posted a list of Temerity Comics. Thank you. I am the news vulture supreme. <laughs> J I, 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 hey, I, Jimmy Olsen of St. George. There you go. Or, well, but see, you write. You, if you were a photographer, we could call you the Peter Parker of St. George. But, anyway. Um... <laughs> Let's see, Ray, uh, Rochelle just joined. You don't, do you remember Rochelle? Rochelle, we need an update. We, we need to know how, uh, how you're doing and, and when the wedding is. Um, anyway, I hate throwing stuff out the universe like that. <laughs> Rochelle gets back on. <laughs> Gives us, let's see, let's see. I will be very sad when Mark Hamill leaves us. Wait, what are you talking about? Now listen, listen, Mark's not going anywhere, okay? Carrie Fisher was doing every drug on the planet. She should have exploded 30 years ago, okay? So... I'm just going to knock on wood just in case. Uh, no, I, I think Harrison's going to go next. 
that's my cool. money's on Harrison. Probably in a plane crash. Um, I think I, I I'm pretty sure that that Mark is going to be with us. For, I'm I'm hoping for another twenty years. I hope because if Mark goes, I'm I've only got like ten years behind Mark. He's only ten years older than me, so I'm hoping I got thirty. Yeah, but look at how long Manny's lived. <laughs> We're going to have to edit that part out. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, like, she's in worse health than Mark Hamill is. We're going to have to edit that part. And she's at least 20 <laughs> Oh, thank God my mom's not on the internet. Wow. But Dad, stop turning that into <laughs> Where are my paper balls? All right, here come the flying objects. Let's see. Hold, hold on, hold on. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Um, Rochelle says, this is Mark Hamill and John... DiMaggio are the best animated jokers. Howdy, D. Jackson. Wedding is Memorial Day weekend. Oh. Congratulations. Is this going to be in Goshen? Inquiring minds want to know. Uh, do not <laughs> tempt the universe by even mention. See, that's, that's why I the second I it. said anything. I was like, ah, because let's see. Maury Savi says, Peter Parker, meh. I'd like to think I'm able to mature past 16. Now, I get that sentiment, but you also know that you would love to, like, be able to, like, you know, lift 10, 10 tons worth of weight and punch people into the moon and climb buildings. So, I know you're playing it cool, but let's face it. You you, you would drop your hat in a second to be Peter Parker, buddy. We all would. We all would. Uh, we are booking a little church in Springville, but keeping it crazy small because COVID. Oh, COVID. Curses. Cosmic power Spider-Man. I'll go with that one. Okay, there you go. We'll let you choose, Maury. Um, oh, hey, Memorial Day weekend. Also, my birthday. Hey. Happy future birthday. I'll raise a glass in honor to your big day, too. Uh, Mark Hamill will never die long after normal humans would have died. He'll be gleefully skulking around as a mysterious immortal being. Egg go. food just jumped on. How are we doing, Egg? Um, good, always good to have you, sir. Uh, uh, egg food uh, hailing from Sugar House in Salt Lake. Let's see. Hamill will die and return as Hamill White. <laughs> Oh, it's, you know, uh, no, uh, you it's, a, it's, a, it. it's a Lord of the Rings reference. I did. What did you say? So, Mark, uh, Mark, it says Hamill will die and return as Hamill the White. See, like Gandalf. You, you started cracking up before you said the White. Oh, okay. Well, I got it. I got one. You got it, but for someone that can't read it. Egg Foo's doing great. Let's see. I like this theory. <laughs> Egg Foo says sore from shoveling snow. Egg Foo, that's why you have children. Okay. <laughs> just go just go I can't deny it yeah <laughs> any hard task that you don't want to do just assign it to one of your kids here you go you will get a lot of grumbling <laughs> yeah. we'll do it it would it would be easier but if you just did it yourself it. <laughs> you know with all the grumbling and complaining uh, let's see more say it is slightly non-warm here that's the advantage of St. George. Let's see. I'll get right on that. My dog is useless. <laughs> <laughs> so is ours. Parenting 101. Yeah. Parenting 101. <laughs> Here's the first question to you ask. Would you like to, you know, would you like to boss people around that are smaller than you? Yes. Have a kid. I don't know. Tasty <laughs> would prove you wrong on that. Uh, let's see. It says, holy smokes. Jimma just posted the art she did today. And it looks good. All right, so we need to we need to take a look. We'll take a look and see what Jim is doing. So, I I haven't seen it. Let's see. Let me get it. All right. So Allison's gonna post it. Good job, Allison. We, just, we need to pay Allison too. Mm -hmm. We love yeah. Allison. Yeah, we do. We don't know what we're doing on Allison. So anyway, all right. All fun and shenanigans aside, so we covered we covered webtoons. Actually, actually, we didn't. We went off, we say, went off on we, a wild tangent. We mentioned a webtoon and then got. We mentioned a webtoon, but anyway, so a lot of these companies are getting bought and sold. Um, and I, from what I understand, webtoons has been bought by. Webtoons has been bought by, AT and T, and then Crunchyroll's been bought by Sony. Oh, they're never that, gonna... See, that's that's what exactly what I thought. I think we're gonna get it. We're gonna get a scenario. It's gonna be exactly like X Men. Yeah, it's gonna be like X Men. 
I, I agree. So I'm hoping, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. If you're an internet fact checker, see if we can. Oh, Gemma's Patreon channel and Discord. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Can you send me a link to it? All right. So Allison's getting on that. Um, um, but anyway, so what's what's the new one I'm reading that Tacey sent? I don't know. She... She mentions a lot of them. So let's talk about. Uh, I, 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 I want to say I want to make sure that I'm doing this right. I want to I want to say it's Ella Seed. Am I saying that right, guys? E L I S E D. Let's see. E L E C E E D. Now I've only read like the first, I think three or four chapters, and so far it's about. A boy who is manifesting superpowers. He's already saved the child in the crosswalk, mm -hmm. as heroes do, mm -hmm. for their first for their first superhero outing. Of course. They are required to save a child who is playing with a ball in the street. It's just <laughs> superhero one hundred and one. Um, but he finds a cat who who reminds me of Garfield. I love Garfield. Okay. He is a mood. Yeah, except. Except he has a white tummy. Okay. So Garfield has like yellow. a yellow tummy. This cat has a white tummy. But this cat is not just a cat. It is a human. So Wait. it can talk. Okay. Have you read it? I haven't read this okay. one. Okay. Spoiler alert. There's like 95 episodes of this already out. So I'm not spoiling anything. I hope. Um, Morisabi said, I am saddened to say I must depart. Mori, thank you. You've always supported me behind the scenes. Um, you are my number one patron of all time. Uh, you need to come and get a free drawing, sir. Um, you let me know what you want. Send it in the comments. And uh, you deserve uh, you des deserve art of anything you want from my hands. And I'll make sure that that gets to you. Thank you so much for your, your support. We love you. Make sure that St. George stays in one piece. Um, and if you need help, uh, just throw up the, throw up the bat sign. And, and we'll be there for you, buddy. Thanks, Maury, for joining in. Six hours later. Um, <laughs> yes, yeah, six hours. It's a little bit of a drive. Um, okay, so, and we have uh, Jimma's art up in, uh, Allison put it up in the Discord app link. Uh, you know what, can we click this? Will yes, this break, I have no idea. Will this I'm break our stream? Uh, we can't click it. So we'll, we'll, we'll check it out. Oh, uh, it's not even done yet. Okay, all right. So we'll 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 look. But back to L C. Um, so this cat is a human stuck in cat form, and yet when they are turned into a cat, they have all the inclinations of a cat. Okay. So, like he's able to basically, and there's other cats like evil cats like giant panther, battle cat uh -huh. type cats roaming around trying to eat the friendly cat, which I believe is named Caden. And uh, he's able to ward them off with, like, catnip and cat toys. Okay, so it's kind of like it's, warriors it's, crossed with that one It's cat. insanely cute. So far, it's insanely cute. Okay. Um, it still doesn't have, in my opinion, still doesn't have the hook uh -huh. that Mom, I'm Sorry. I mean, I, I was two episodes into Mom, I'm Sorry, and I was like, I'm reading this comic till... To be forever. honest, though, a lot of webtoons don't quite have it, that. Is it a slow build? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, Jim is sick and still turning out grade AA art. I guess the kids are sleeping off the illness. <laughs> I can see Jim just drugging the kids so she can go to bed. Drink your night quill. We'll see. She would we'll do that. No, she wouldn't. I would. <laughs> okay, this is my mom raised us. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, so uh, that is that is my current favorite read right now. Um, obviously, if you have not checked out any of my my students' uh, webtoons, you need to check them out. There is uh, the Kiss Bet, which is uh, a webtoon by my student Ingrid, and then Zelda's Lullaby by Jimmy Young, Children of Elder by Jimmy Young. And then Temerity, which is obviously what you're watching now, uh, drawn by me and written by Gemma. So if you're not following those comics on Webtoons, please do. 
Support if you can. Um, yeah. Yeah. There yeah. we go. So what are you reading on Webtoons? I had to delete Webtoons because I wasn't getting anything done. Oh, okay. <laughs> See, that's what, like, Tasty's like, Dad, have you read it yet? I'm like... I, read, I have other things Like, to she's... Do. There's 95 chapters. Do you want to know what's so funny, though? So, she will read Webtoons like there is no tomorrow. But if you put a physical comic book in front of her, she's like, I'm not interested. But see... I don't read I comics. think that's what's happening now, though. I kind of hate that, though. I do, too. <laughs> I do, too, because I grew up with the comic books. But I'm saying there's a paradigm shift. Yeah, I know. And let's like, face it. Let's face it. Comic book stores were not a nurturing environment. No. Okay, I'm, and, and there are some great comic stores. I'm not in Utah. Here's a list of the great comic stores in Utah. Dragon's you got Dragon's Keep. You have the Nerd Store in West Valley. You have Dr. Volts. You have Black Cat in Sugar House. There are some phenomenal comic book stores in Utah. In general, though, I mean, let's face it. I've been to plenty of comic book stores where if you were lucky, you got the, co you got the comic book guy from The Simpsons. If you were lucky. Sometimes you had like meth dealers, okay? I, that was the one in Cedar City. Every time I go into there, I was like, okay, I feel like I'm going to get mugged. <laughs> I'm probably getting secondhand high, though. <laughs> you gotta be careful. You know I mean? Those are, you're talking about my friends. <laughs> and they might be watching this podcast. But I, 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 I still get what you're saying. Like, you, you, if you were not tied into like metal culture, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, I do. And and let's face it, nine out of ten comic book stores smell like BO. Mm -hmm. It's not the most welcoming environment. But, and and let's look at what our welcoming environments. Barnes and Noble is a welcoming environment. I don't know. I go there and I tend to glare at a lot of the people there because they're very rude. The employees or the people? No, the people. You, you get oh. a lot of the. Okay. You don't have to talk to quote them. Quote-unquote Karens. You know okay. what I mean? Okay, all right. At I'm Barnes just saying. Noble. Let's at see. Least in, at least in this Barnes & Noble. Ryan Brown. Ryan, you're on Webtoons. I did not know this. So is Blood of the Gods up? Right. Ryan's still neglected, as he should. Let me, let me do a search. Poor Ryan. It is. Subscribe. So make sure you check out <laughs> Ryan's like, what am I, chopped liver? Poor Ryan. Uh, okay, so Ryan's name for his webcomic is Blood of the Gods, Allison. And he is on chapter two, page seven. So, what, what, what? Oh, are we, oh, okay. We're at that point. In our so uh, we've run out of uh, drawing materials. We, we we oh oh wait hold You're on. Have to come over here, here we pause go. It. Pause 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 pause. Okay. So we we've uh, we've gone through all the footage um, of the Temerity page. Make sure that you make sure that you follow Ryan as well on Webtoons and support Blood of the Gods. This was uh, Ryan's BFA project. Um, and it also got him uh, the Honors Award. Right, Ryan, for 2020? Correct me if I'm wrong. So, um, anyway, make sure you check it out. It's good, fun stuff. Um, D. Jackson uh, added it to the subs. Uh, new, new phone, who dis? <laughs> Rochelle's busting your chops, Ryan. Um, anyway, so now, now, Ryan, though, we've all just hit subscribe. That means you got to update. Those, them's the rules. Them's the rules. So anyway, we're at the end of our stream. We got about six minutes left. So up, what you're seeing right now is our. As soon as the stream's over, we're going to go into Facebook, and we're going to do our weekly markup auction. So this we have the 25th anniversary uh, Virgin variant of uh, my cover for the Nerd Store. Speaking of great comic book shops and. Uh, the Las Vegas Valley area. Um, this is the Nerd Store variant for the 25th anniversary Harley Quinn special number one with a classic Harley remark done in the corner. Um, so, uh, let's see, hold on. 
so this is going to be going up for a 24-hour auction as soon as we're done with this stream. Uh, we'll go until tomorrow night at midnight. And um, whoever has highest bid in the comments, this book will be yours and it will go out, it will go out, what, Friday? Um, anyway, so make sure that you get your, get ready to bid. Now, if you can't pick this up, don't worry about it. We are also going to have, uh, we're going to have, we're, we're going to have a constant stream of markups coming in. Uh, we have lots of stuff planned for the future. We have, our, we're planning on doing our mystery box Kickstarter this summer. Um, we have the Homoko commission coming up. Um, anyway, so if, if you ever miss an auction, there's always going to be one coming right after it. And we understand everybody's uh, economic situation. So uh, don't worry. We have plenty of content that's going to just keep coming out. Let's see. Ryan Brown, I will eventually still got to get some writing fixed. Uh, wish I would have bought that cover. Um, hey, we... You can fix that now. You can fix that now. And, and here's the other thing we're working on, just so you know. Erica is actually taking pictures of our products, and we're going to be putting them up on MB Artist. Hey, Chad, hope you're having an awesome night. We are. Let's see. Boy, that's really hard. GF Andrew. Thank you, Andrew. We are having an awesome night. Um, anyway, make sure to bid. You have... Uh, you're going to have a little bit more than 24 hours to do so. Make sure that you're tuned in to the Mountain Time Zone, okay? So if you are on the East Coast, we are two hours ahead of you. If you are on the West Coast, is that right, two hours ahead? I'm pretty sure we're two hours behind. Behind, right? It is 9 o'clock. Okay, it so... It is 8.57 okay. in Utah right now. And you're right. It's, it's uh, two hours ahead. Right, okay. So you're, you're two hours ahead on the East Coast. We're two hours behind. Um, on the West Coast, we're an hour ahead. Okay, so if you're if you're bidding from a di different time zone, make sure you're locked into the Mountain Time Zone. And also remember that uh, um, winter winter pays shipping. But usually, if you're within the United States, uh, shipping cost is pretty nominal. I think eleven dollars gets you the book uh, delivered to just about anywhere in the continental United States within two to three days and and it's fully insured um, and we go with UPS okay so um, anyway uh, 90 I would say 97.5 percent of all shipments that go through UPS uh, reach reach people just fine adult signature will be required um, because the 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 0.25 percent uh, that we've had problems with it wasn't that they weren't delivered they were just usually taken off someone's porch. So uh, we're gonna make sure that the adult signature is required. If you are bidding from outside of the United States, generally right now it costs about $25 US. So just be prepared for that. Just just know that um, that whatever bid you're placing, you're also looking at a $25, uh, $25 shipping charge. Um, you know, but usually uh, everything's fine. If you're, if you're willing to pay the extra 25 bucks, uh, we've shipped to India, we've shipped to Australia, we've shipped to Great Britain, we've shipped to Canada. Um, so hopefully anywhere you live on this planet, you should be able to get. Um, where's the link at, Chad? We haven't made it yet, Allison, because that would involve me doing something. <laughs> but we will. We will have the link if you look. <laughs> if, you, if you go to my Facebook page... If you go to my Facebook, and, and you need to go to the Chad Harden art page, not my personal page, go to the Chad Harden art page. We will have we will have that up there shortly. Um, but anyway, it is 9 o'clock. Eric and I have been working all day. We have not had dinner. It is time to say goodnight. <gasps> oh, Jesse just jumped on. Um, anyway, Jesse, you just jumped on. But you can, now listen though, Eric is going to put this on YouTube. On YouTube. So you can tune in to YouTube and watch all the fun that we had tonight, tomorrow. And um, guys, we'll, we will be back Sunday, and we are gonna we are gonna try our darndest to make this a regular event. So hope to see everybody Sunday. Everyone, be good. Stay safe. Social distance. Wash your hands. Um, don't touch your face. Don't touch your face. Don't pick your nose. Yeah, like he's doing right now. I I, I was fake picking my nose. Look. So. Uh, 
Take your own advice. Yeah, there you are. <laughs> Be good, and we'll see you Sunday, guys. Thank you so much. Talk to you later. Good night. Night night. Oh, Erica. Oh, there I found it. All right. <laughs>